Hi guys! This is my fourth time trying to make this video. I had bought a tripod, um, which my cam my phone is sitting on, and it came with this little remote. But every time I started recording, it shut off automatically. I don't know if it's because I used the remote or if there's something wrong with my camera. So, I mean my phone. So if there's something wrong with my phone and this shuts off again, now I know why. All the stuff is laid out on my table because I was trying to show you what I got. So let's start over, except for I didn't put everything back in the bag. So the pool opens um, this weekend, Memorial Day weekend, in this apartment complex that I live in. So my daughter is like this in-between kid clothes slash adult sizes. Like I get her small women's shirts. I can get her like small leggings, um, but you know, she's still little-ish. So low cut things are not for her because she's not developed enough, but she needs bathing suits because of the pool opening. So I got her two from Kohl's today. I had $10 Kohl's card, the cash, Kohl's cash. And I had a $5 coupon for if you spent $25 or more. So, this is one of the bathing suits. It's a tankini with three pieces. Um, they were originally $48. They were on sale for $33.60. And it's like the top, the little bikini bottom, and then like the skirt shorts thing, which I think she's gonna like. And that's one. And this is two. I paid $52.20 for the both of them. Considering one was originally $48, I think that's pretty good. Although for some reason my math didn't work and I thought it was $23 with the discount, not $33, but it's all good. She needs it, so that is that. And while I was at Michael's, my daughter um, has a lot of anxiety and stress, so I bought her this brain putty and you can just squish it and it's good for like keeping her hands busy and whatnot. And it says it melts, snaps, bounces, stretches, and never dries out. So it's called Orb Slimy Brainy Putty. I don't know if anyone has kids that might use it. I just thought it and thought I'd buy it because it's something that she'd be interested in. Now, here's all my journaling stuff that I just bought all over the place. It came from a variety of Walmart, Michaels, and Hobby Lobby. The bullet journal came from Hobby Lobby because it was 50% off. I was looking for one and it's just got this design. Um, I wanted something with more like a fit saying, but for the price, I went with that one. Um, I got these journal pens. I got these stickers. Um, that's the stuff that came from Hobby Lobby. Then I got these stickers. These little stencils with, I don't know if it has other stuff in there too. It says one folder and eight stencil sheets. I got two of them because one seemed to have like letters and one had some quotes, not quotes, but words like celebrate, get it girl, today's plan, dream, that kind of thing. One had some shapes that I thought I might use with the bullet journal. This uh, bullet journal blue also came from Hobby Lobby. This uh, craft bond thing came from Walmart. Fine tip markers came from Walmart. Their brand is Woman Owned. Pen and Gear. Uh, pen and Gear, I guess. It says Woman Owned on the back. And then I got these scissors at a discount store. And I got the pencil, pencil box at Michael's when I was there. I was looking for a different type of bullet journal 
And if I found it, I was going to give this to my daughter because she can draw on it, whatever. I want something, they have them with pages. And I, I really think that I want pages that already are kind of pre-filled out, but some blank ones. I'm not the most artistic, so I'm going to try because I really want to show it to my nutritionist and the physician assistant when I go to see them. I mean, I'm tracking on my fitness pal. I take pictures, I, um, whatever. But I thought this would be a nice tracking pounds lost, uh, tracking fitness goals, maybe even more stuff than that. I, I, I would like to try meal planning. I'm just not the best of the, with doing that. Like, usually I decide that day what I'm going to make. I buy a whole bunch of meat and, you know, different things. And I go in the freezer and I take it out the night before and I cook it. And usually the leftovers is what I eat for my lunch the next day if there's enough food for that. So, but... Or if I make something big, like beef stew or something, that I can eat it for a few days. But I really need to plan maybe a, a week in advance and figure, well, figure out what I'm going to eat. I know that it may get discombobulated some days. Things might change. But I'd really like to do that and make healthier options. It's hard when you have, when there's three people that live with, not two people that live with you, uh, but they eat different things. My, I don't know if I said this before, but my daughter's so picky. She eats nothing. She sustains on macaroni and cheese, pasta, chicken. That's about it. Um, my boyfriend, he will eat any meat I make, but he doesn't eat vegetables. He always wants potatoes or rice or whatever and I'm just trying to so what do I what I've been doing this last week is I've been buying a bag of steamed broccoli steaming the broccoli and eating that over like three days with my food be it lunch or dinner or whatever um so the other day I made pork chops with broccoli and mashed potatoes and I took a half a cup of mashed potatoes and I ate broccoli and I ate a pork chop. Um, and that was my lunch the next day. And then last night's dinner, oh wait, must have been my lunch the next day. And then there was one day where I made eggs for dinner so I didn't have lunch the next day and I bought a salad when I was at work. I only ate half the salad so I have half of that salad that's going to be my dinner tonight. Today, yesterday I made steak, the mashed potatoes, and the rest of the broccoli. And I have that for lunch, the steak, mashed potatoes, and broccoli, which I'm going to eat. So, that's how it is. Um... I'm gonna attempt to work on this bullet journal today. I have finished my work day really fast today so that I could do some stuff and some housework. I'm doing laundry right now. I got I loaded the dishwasher. Um, just gotta get stuff done. Um, I should also make this kind of a what I eat day. So maybe that will be uh, in this video as well. So, good morning. This is my breakfast. It is a protein shake. I have Optimum Nutrition Extreme Milk Chocolate. I have a serving of peanut butter and eight ounces of skim milk blended together and that is my breakfast and this is my favorite way to drink the shake I I like it sometimes I'll shake it in the blender bottle itself 
and sometimes I will blend it in the blender. I prefer it in the blender. It tastes better that way. I try to do it with PB2 as well. When I do it in the shaker bottle, I use PB2, but sometimes when I blend it, use the blender, I really like it with um, actual peanut butter. It just tastes like a peanut butter cup. It's like a peanut butter mock shake. I love it. So I'm running out of protein powder though and I need to get some more. Unfortunately, my payday is the end of the month. So hopefully I can figure that out before then. But so this is breakfast and I will get back to you with my lunch. So yeah, this is my work setup at home. Two laptops. I have two different medical records that I have to work in. So instead of like minimizing, maximizing, I can look at the one on one, look at the other on the other. I do have two actual screens when I'm at work. So that's really good for me. And I'm about to heat up some lunch in the microwave. So I will share that with you in a minute. I'm gonna close this stuff up and put it to the side so that I can eat. So this here is my lunch, some broccoli, some steak, and some mashed potatoes. <laughs> if, I, uh, if I'm lacking protein today, I may have a cheese stick, but for now, that's lunch. So it's almost time for me to go pick up my daughter from her after school program and then she has an appointment at six o'clock. So I am going to eat this either on the road or I'm going to eat it right before I leave. But I think I'm going to, uh, there's a few cucumbers, some tomato. I don't even think there's an ounce of chicken in here because I ate most of it for lunch yesterday. So I think I'm gonna add an egg for protein. Um, hopefully I'll get to at least 60, 60 grams of protein today. Um, if I have to, like I said, I'll add one cheese stick. But that's what I ate in the day. Um, drinking water. I had my decaf 20 ounce tea this morning. Um, and that's about it. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Oh, by the way, I may do an update tomorrow because that's when I'm um, following up with my surgery center uh, with a nutritionist and with um, the physician's assistant. So maybe I'll find out more information about possible surgery, potential surgery, if I'm even having surgery, I don't know. But we'll see what's happening. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hey guys, just adding another clip to the video I did yesterday. I just had my follow up from after my insurance denial. So I was supposed to have surgery on Monday, but that was denied. So it is what it is. She's adding more detail to my notes. She's um, now I'm going to be taking Pepsid and Prilosec for the heartburn. She thinks that might actually show that they've tried many things to help out with my heartburn it's also hernia um my nutritionist liked that i did the bullet journal um thing that i just started so i know i was telling you about it so this is what i did i have it with me it's this is the first page and i know it's backwards but a weight tracker these are the pounds to go this is pounds lost i always like haven't wrote anything in there or done anything with that it was a printable I made the calendar and it's keep tracking my activity, which is mostly walking and some pio and some yoga. I, I do it on root of my back pain. Um, but 
most of the time I get almost three miles, two to three miles a day walking. So that's pretty good. And then it's Saturday and Sunday I did the elliptical in my building. And then there's a plan. You can do it. My plan is health goals. Make fitness a part of my routine. Two, get stronger, especially my core. Three, be in it for the long run. It's a lifestyle change. Four, choose healthy nutrition plan. Five, improve my flexibility, balance, and coordination. Six, focus on healthy habits. Seven, to move pain-free and alleviate old aches and pains. Eight, set small realistic goals. Nine, track my progress. And ten, love myself. And then on this page, I want to lose 60 to 70 pounds. Um, I think 65 would get to me to my lowest weight after surgery and 70 would bring me a little lower. But I've got a 60 pound countdown, which I've lost, I think she said two pounds. I think it's more like 1.7, but whatever. It's a 60 pound countdown, so I can shade those in as they go. I'm gonna shade one and a half at least. Um, and I have a quote here. Each, day, each new day is a new opportunity to improve yourself take it and make it the most of it I'm not and make it the most of it and make the most of it so that's gonna complete my video I know I already said goodbye but I decided instead of making a whole separate video which would be like a little more than three minutes I'll just add this on to the one I made yesterday and haven't edited yet so thanks for watching have a great day and oh my follow-up I will be getting the prescription so I'll be taking both um I'm getting blood work done and then the 25th I have another follow-up here with both the physician assistant and in the nutritionist just to see where I'm going and now I do have a goal to lose weight last time they told me not to really worry about it but now I have a goal to lose like what did she say 10 pounds? I think it is. So anyways, that's, that's the spiel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.